I'm thinking if you guys go warm each other up. Good night. It's Christmas and I'm willing to give and I'm willing to receive. At some point we have to tell them. In due time. Wait, did you know about this? Jordan, she's pretty special. I'm surprised she got past all you guys. Who says she did? He's just messing with your man. <laughs> <laughs> Best man, how this is a great reunion. I mean, I was personally, you know, taking the journalist hat off. I was just excited to see this film. I wanted it six years ago, maybe eight years ago, you know. So, how was it for you guys just to get back together, the whole cast, and see each other again? I know that a lot of y'all have worked on projects over the years, but just to all be together, how was that feeling? High school, re not high school reun reunion, college reunion. Co yeah, it was a reunion. reunion. Yeah, reunion. it was a great reunion. It was just like riding a bike. You know, the chemistry was still there. We all still genuinely liked each other, and yeah. we just, we just had a great time. It's hard to believe it's been 14 years. I mean, all of you guys have aged beautif beautifully and everything, but Morris, you look like. You almost look like Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> and then and when you got on the football field, I thought that was the Ricky highlight. <laughs> team, the boys in the hood. You know, what, can you That's tell right. about like what do you do to, to stay fit and like what's what's your your, your secret sauce? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's it's, it's diet and, and, and cardio. Yeah, you know, I work out all the time. But see, I don't have any excuses. It'd be different if I worked like forty hours a week and a nine to five job. It's really hard to maintain a, a, a consistent workout schedule. But you know, you know, being an actor and you have a lot of downtime to me I say you know there's no excuse yeah. you know so it's a little it's, it makes it a little bit easier for me forgiveness is visited in this as a theme in this in this movie and and I wanted to know like over the years has it been times that you guys have had to struggle with forgiving somebody that may have did you wrong and you know it might have been an old friend or whatever and and how, and what's a way to get over that you know if you know I plead the fifth on that um, answer right now. Okay. Wow. Take that? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a forgiving person, but I, I have to. Um, Please. Okay. I got that. I answer. Yeah. You know what? It, and the thing about it is the the stories and the and, and the issues in this movie are are very relatable because. Uh, people go through that mm -hmm. and um, us being just because we're actors doesn't it mean that we don't go through the same types of thing these characters don't go through so mm -hmm. yes you know I struggle with forgiveness for a lot of different things and and maybe you know people struggle with forgiving me for certain things so um, no one's perfect and we all go through things and um, yeah so it's definitely definitely relatable this deals with a lot of issues you know one of being friendship love right. uh, family and also deals with health care in light of all of the the drama and, and news going on about you know, the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. What do you guys think, looking from the character lens, is about the importance of uh, of health care for, for everybody? Hmm. Well, um, I've had this conversation just in, in, in passing, just random, just because somebody mentioned something while I'm driving down the street in my car on the radio and somebody mentioned it. But I think affordable health care for everyone, it, it's, it's n not to put it in the, th um, the scope of mandatory or just make it just so urgent that, but I think it's a necessity for everyone to have because we're talking about people that, you know, have to get up and, and, and they own their minimum wage. The minimum wage is what now? I know that, that they're working on increasing it, yeah. but making sure that everybody is covered because that one moment where you just can't make it to work and because you've gotten sick and then you go to the hospital but you're not covered and you can't, it, it, it does, and you have a family to feed. So I really don't want to go too far into this, but my what I'm basically trying to boil it down to and saying is that um, making health care affordable for everyone so that everyone can coexist and the economy can continue to recycle itself. And that's the point of having affordable health care, in my opinion. I'm sorry. No, no, but as no, it relates no. to the film, um, The Best Man Holiday, uh, it's... Uh, We're dealing with health issues in, in, the, in this movie. Um, to me, it's, it's, you know, I know that's a, it's a hot button topic, but 
uh, I just say, you know, what is life without health? You know, what is enjoying anything? You can't enjoy family without health. You can't enjoy money without health. You can't enjoy your kids. You can't do, enjoy anything without health. So it's a, it's a prime concern of, of everyone. And, and this movie, I think, um, we deal with um, um, health issues in this movie. And so that's very relatable to people right now. And I think it's gonna have, it's gonna, it makes people reflect um, after they leave the theater on 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 these types of issues. Thank you guys for another great performance. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you. 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 Thank